Welcome back to my channel. My name is Athena and today's video is a whole bunch of stuff that I bought on Lululemon's Boxing Day. So Boxing Day is Canadian Black Friday, like their version of it. And because Lululemon's a Canadian brand, they do celebrate it. It's the day after Christmas, but they did start putting stuff on sale on Christmas Day. I bought a whole bunch. I bought jackets, bags, shirts, shorts, like almost everything. I don't know if everything that I'm going to show is still going to be available just because it's been a little while, but yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys. And just for reference, I'm usually a size six. And although sometimes I have to go lower or higher in sizing, I usually read the comments to make sure because everything is final sale. So I don't want to be stuck with something that doesn't fit me. And I'm about five seven. So yeah. Okay. I'm starting off with accessories first. The first two accessories I got are a hat and a scarf. They're the same matching color in this like heather oatmeal color. It does have a cute little pom-pom. This is called the Bubble Knit Palm Beanie. It's originally $52. I did check and it is sold out online. I do like this small like logo feature. I don't like when it's like super huge on it. And the scarf has the same thing with the logo feature and the inside is like super warm fleece. So I think it'll definitely keep me warm. And I really do like this like, it looks a little bit weird on camera, but it's like a very nice beige and so this is how it looks together i think i look like spongebob when he was sick sitting on the chair i'll show a photo but i don't really like them together i like the hat in it by itself though but just with this i think it looks kind of just like a lot going on and i think especially with the mask this would just keep like bothering it but i think separate it would look pretty cute okay and so the next two bags the only bags that i really bought is this one was the one I was most excited about. So it's the water bottle crossbody. It's one size and it's usually $38. I think I paid $20. I've been having my eye on this for a while. The other colors were a little bit too wild for me, but this is how it looks on the inside. There's like a tie string, which you can, you know, tighten around so that way it goes around your bottle. I have a 40 ounce hydro flask. I don't really love the Lululemon bottles. They're not my super big favorites. So I was really excited to get one of these. A lot of the comments said it did fit a 40 ounce and it does. And you can adjust this to make it longer or shorter, which I think is really cute. And you can either wear it on the orange side or the pink side. And I really do like this zipper feature because I wouldn't, I usually just have a card holder. So this would definitely fit it. It wouldn't fit too much, but fits more than enough and I was just really excited I think I'll get a lot of use out of this in the summer and the second thing I bought was the city adventure bag mini so I haven't even taken out of it taken it out of the plastic packaging yet originally these are $98 I think I paid about $60 I know it's sold out in this color online but there is like a yellowish color that I'll link down below but I thought this one was cuter I really do like this reddish camo print it's the mini, the color code is HCSN, but yeah, I'm a big fan. I like that the logo is not like super in your face and I've had these bags before and I think they do fit quite a bit. Just like on the inside, they have this for your water bottle. I don't really use it for that though. I think it doesn't normally fit. I just keep like glasses or, you know, little stuff. And then there's a zipper down here where you can put stuff. And then this bottom zipper for like shoes and stuff are really convenient. So overall, I do really like this bag. I did use this a lot for school when I was going to school in person because my laptop is the 11 inch. I know Macs don't, they don't, I mean, Apple doesn't make them anymore, but it would fit in here like perfectly. Okay. And so I only actually bought one bra. I swear I bought more, but I don't know. I feel like I buy way too many bras too. So I got the energy bra and it's still in the plastic packaging, but it's the same color as the camel backpack, which I think is really cute. I want to get the matching pants as well, but it didn't go on sale, so I'm just waiting. And this I got in a size 8. Like I said, I'm normally a size 6, but these bras are super, super tight where I feel like a size 8 is supportive enough. And it's the energy bra, originally $52 and the HCSN. It does come with bra padding that you can take out through this little hole in the inside, which I probably will end up taking out. And... The logo on the side and it has the iconic back crossing. I'm gonna try this on to show you what it looks like. And this is the energy bra in the blue and black and like reddish camo print. This this is what the logo usually stays, which is still pretty visible even if you're doing exercise. And I just envision myself wearing it like a little set like this. If I get the matching pants, I think it'll be super super cute. And yeah, overall I'm just a big fan. It does always feel super supportive and I don't think it gives like 
that saggy boob vibe that sometimes some of the bras do, especially before Y. Overall, I think it's super cute. Okay, and in terms of aligned tanks, I only got one. I got this really nice, like, blackish color. It's HWYC is the color code is $58. I did buy it for $39, which I think is a pretty good price. Um, I don't know why it's showing a little bit weird on the camera, but this is how it looks. Um, there's also the removable padding as well, which I'll be taking out. I usually tend to get a size 8 in these. A size 6 does fit, but it just like pushes the girls up way too much to the point where it's not really that flattering, I would say. But 8 I think fits perfectly. It doesn't ride up. It's just super comfortable. It is super soft, that, you know, Nulu fabric. And I'll try this on to show you. Okay, and so this is how the Align Tank looks. I think it's a little bit difficult to see the print on it, but overall I think it's super cute. I usually pull this off just because it always sticks like this unless I tuck it in, but I always forget to tuck it in. But yeah, overall I think this is super cute. I do own a whole bunch and I think it's like a good mix if I do want to wear black pants or even colored pants just because the print isn't super loud and it's kind of black but like a mixy black so and i got a whole bunch of pants so the first two pants that i was kind of nervous about getting but ended up you know just biting the bullet anyways was the ready to rulu joggers like i said i usually am a size six i feel like i keep saying that but everything i've been getting is like a size eight but it's just because a lot of this stuff is like super tight fitting but I did get these in an 8 as well. I'm going to try them on to show you, but I could have went down to a 6. I think when I tried them on once in store, the 6 was way too small to the point where it kind of gave that legging feeling instead of joggers. But I got this in the dark olive color, size 8. They're usually $118. I think I paid about $80, so not too bad. The comments were really raving about it, and it was selling out a lot. I don't know if Lululemon's going to discontinue this pants because the black also went on sale and I feel like that's always a good indicator. But the logo looks like this. It's the same color as the pant and the cuff is like this. It's super soft. It's that regular, you know, Rulu fabric that I feel like is just super durable. And I got it also in the copper brown color because I own nothing in this color. This is how it looks. I'll add the stock photo here just so it's a better indicator. But I did get a size 8. It does have pockets. The pockets inside are the Rulu material, which is super nice. And this is how it looks. This is how the logo looks as well. Same color as the pant. This one's a little bit harder to see rather than the purple one. And it has the normal cuffs. Overall, just super soft. And I'll show you what it looks on. The stomach part is just a little bit not as tight as I want. And I hate like having to pull the drawstrings in super tight. But other than that, just to like lounge around the house i think they're pretty comfortable i did get one pair of leggings so the leggings i got are the wonder train 25 inch size 6 in the color lark spur it was originally 98 dollars. i think i paid about 60 as well this is just such a gorgeous color and i do have the matching bra that i had bought previously so i was excited to have like a matching set i think wonder trains are just the absolute best legging i feel like everyone just raves about it and they should it's super durable it's soft not as soft as the aligns but i would say it's a pretty good competitor. It's sweat wicking. It's the Everlux fabric. So every time you see stuff in Everlux, you'll know. It's just super durable, super soft, super comfortable. And I think just really flattering. It makes your butt look really good. And it doesn't really show any like cellulite in the back or like any leg marks you might have, especially if it's like a dark color. I know lines sometimes have that issue and there's no pilling, which I really love. And I got one Align shorts, 10 inch size six. These are the super high rise. So I got it in the camo color. I also, I think I'm going to bring it into the store for them to hem it just because I'm not a fan of this long. I think at this point it might as well be leggings, but I think to a six inch, it'll be really cute. I've never tried super high rise. I do tend to like crop tops with the biker shorts, but I think it'll be cute and they're super soft just like aligns usually are. So I'm excited to try these on to show you. All right. And so this is the Align super high rise 10 inch align shorts i'm not the biggest fan i don't really like how long they are it does have a bit of a, like a a little bit tight here but it's not too too bad i'm definitely gonna make them shorter up to around here and i think i'll feel more comfortable with it i don't really love how high-waisted it is i wish it was like up to here like the normal ones are but you know beggars can't be choosers it was on sale so i think i will get some use out of them i probably won't wear them to the gym just because you know nulu just isn't that 
good for stuff like that. It'll start to pill really quick, but just for like regular relaxing stuff, I think it will do. Okay, now, and it's what I bought most. So I bought way too many sweaters, just an FYI. I bought the textured fleece half a zip in the red Merlot color. I did get a size 10 in this because I tried it on in store and I don't know why. I think just like the fleece part of it and it's just like one of those sweaters that you want oversized instead of just tight fit and it doesn't really give that oversized feeling. So I did get a size 10 in the red Merlot color. It originally is $138 and I paid $89. And I also got the same thing in black. It's super soft. It has this pocket that goes all the way through which I love there's like a secret pocket in here for you to put something really small but I've never I probably won't use it and the inside is still pretty soft it's not as soft as the outside but it is really soft and I think it'll keep me really warm it also has these like drawstring things for the hood which I love I hate when it's like one of those hoods where the wind easily takes it out so I did get two of these black and red merlot and then I got a Define jacket. I didn't realize this, but apparently Define jackets are really trending. And I had gotten rid of my other black camo one and on, what's it called again? Boxing Day, it went on markdown. So I bought another one. It's originally 118 and I paid $89. So it's just the basic black camo one. I did get a size six because these just look better tight fit. And I just think it's really cute. The color code is H3DC. I know these are selling out like crazy. I did try to get a different color and for some reason they were like all sold out. I think in black, every single color is like, I mean, every single size from like two to 10 is basically sold out. So I thought that was super crazy, but I was really excited that I was able to snag one of these, especially if they're becoming super popular again, because I can wear it. And so another thing that I got, this is the one thing that I did not buy on sale actually. And it's the scuba oversized funnel neck in the medium large in the blue linen color. So it's a little bit lighter than what it's showing on camera and more of like a bluish color, but it just came in today. I'm super excited to try it. It's originally $118, which is what I paid. And the back has this embroidered logo. The half zips usually have the logo on like the hood compared to this one. That's just a half zip. So I'm super excited to try it because a lot of the comments said that this one usually with the hood one the hood is really heavy so it pushes back the neck so the neck well the zipper part is on your neck which i have the same issue with and apparently this one because there's no hood they don't have that problem so i'm really excited to try that and the last thing i got was this pool jacket it's part of their lab collection i did get a size six it does have the logo inside i don't love this jacket i really kind of do wish i could return it the inside just isn't soft at all and it kind of feels like I don't know like an uncomfortable rug this is called the lab textured fleece coat i did get it in the dds1 color it's originally 298 dollars. i think i paid a hundred dollars which isn't too bad i thought it would be kind of like the not the fake one but like a similar one to the ugg jacket that i've seen that's like that like really cute cow print because i think this is similar but just the way it fit on as well i'll try this all on for you and it just doesn't fit that nicely i personally think so i wouldn't be your purchasing and i wouldn't get in a different color and this is the same thing in the red merlot color i do kind of like the black one better i don't think i'm gonna get as much use out of this one but it is cute for what it is and i think it does help layering making it a lot easier just because this is so warm but yeah i think it's super cute and this is how this looks i really like that there's no thumb holes i forgot to mention it I am super tall and super long, so when I do this with the thumb holes and when I'm like moving around, they just start to cut into my thumbs. But this one I think is also super cute. I like that it's still cropped but really oversized. I can make it a little bit longer if I push this down, but I don't think I would. It is super warm. I'm already getting a little bit hot. Maybe it's just, just because my house is hot, but I think this would match a lot of stuff and it doesn't seem like the fleece part, which I've had some issues with with some Lululemon products, that the fleece comes out onto the leggings. I don't think this will have the same issue. So I'm really excited about this. Okay, I turned the light on, so sorry if it's a little bit yellowy, but this is the scuba funnel neck and I love it. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna get some more colors. This is just super cute and it feels really cozy and comfortable. And I don't think I'm gonna have that issue with where it's like this with the with the half zip. I really like it. I think the color is super cute as well. This like blue linen color. I think it'll match a lot of stuff and it's light enough to the point where I'm not scared it'll get dirty quick, but 
just super comfortable and super cute. I absolutely love it. And last but not least is the jacket. So they do have pockets. The pockets also are not the same material as the outside, so it's not warm inside, not warm at all. But I think it does look cute as like an open trench coat, I guess. I wouldn't really close it just because it has these awkward buttons as well, not even a zipper. I definitely don't think it's worth $248. And if I'm being really honest, I don't even think it's worth $100. Maybe like $60, I would... I mean, I'd probably get some use out of it, but I think just the fact that it's a light color too, and it's not warm, I'll definitely have to be layering it a lot. So this is the one where not my favorite purchase would return if I absolutely right, could. if you stay till the end of this video, thank you so much. That's going to be all for Boxing Day clothing. I don't expect any more packages for the rest of the week, and I hope you all have an amazing new year. Once again, if you like this video, you can like and subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram. It's a.t.o. I'll put it down below. And yeah, have a good new year, and thanks so much for watching.